right, what's up, folks at home? Don't you hate having to have a big mess at Thanksgiving? Are you too poor to afford a Roomba? It, it avoids obstacles. It's the Zambrumbi. All right, folks. So what you're gonna need for this project is an Adafruit motor shield, an Arduino, a robot chassis with two DC motors, a battery pack, an ultrasonic sensor, and some friends and family. Remember guys, for all of these projects, there are technical articles linked. You can find it somewhere on the screen over here. Uh, oh, he's stuck on a here? potato. The Zambrumbi is built around an ultrasonic, ultrasonic sensor that measures an object's distance by emitting and detecting high frequency sound waves. Distance can be calculated by measuring how long it takes for sound waves to reflect off of an object and return to the sensor. All right, guys, it's time to get into the meat and potatoes. Thanksgiving jokes. Our sensor has an ultrasonic yeah. emitter and an ultrasonic detector. detector, and it provides send and receive pins named trigger and echo. We will drive the trigger pin, and the echo pin is driven by the sensor module. The potatoes are too low, so he doesn't see them yet. Oh, and there we go. The trigger is designed so that the ultrasonic audio output will be activated anytime the user sends a logic high pulse at at least 10 microseconds wide. We can create this pulse ourselves by first ensuring that the pin is set low, then set the pin high, then wait at least 10 microseconds, and then return the pin to low. Boom, now he's just going in circles. Now for a little math. So it takes 29 microseconds for sound to travel one centimeter. Considering the echo pin indicates how long it takes for a sound to reach an object and reflect back, we must first divide the echo pin pulse width by two to determine the one-way travel time. To convert travel time to distance in centimeters, we must divide the one-way travel time in microseconds by 29, so that our equation looks like this. Anyone else want some bread? Want some bread? We will use an external power supply or battery pack along with an Adafruit motor shield to safely and easily control our inductive, inductive loads. loads. Just like in one of our previous videos with the dancing toaster, we can tell the Arduino to turn the Zambrumbi anytime it is within 25 uh, centimeters of an object. See, it goes straight and then you turn it. To do so, we'll drive the motors in opposite directions causing the bot to spin. When the sensor indicates that an object is 25 centimeters or more away, we spin the motors in the same direction, causing the Zambrumbi to move forward. He broke his thing. The effectiveness of the Zambrumbi depends on where you place the eyes. You guys broke them. Now you do have to clean up. 